Good morning. Guys, what's up? Welcome back into Morning Voice with Maggie. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. I'm chalking it up to still holding on to this flu. It does not want to leave. But either way, Life is Strange, part three. And yes, I finally got a title right and did not say Walking Dead for once, but somehow it still comes into the conversation. <laughs> Guys, happy good morning, and we are starting off with still an episode part, episode part, episode one of Life is Strange, so I think we're heading towards the end of that. We just met up with Chloe for the first time, and so Chloe was in fact, well, not the first time, Chloe was the blue-haired girl, and I'm kicking myself for not saying that out loud because I had one moment where I was like, oh, I wonder if that's her, when we were in our dorm room and we held up the picture of us with Chloe. It was something about her eyes, even as like, I think she was 13 or 14 at the time. It just made me think that it might've been her and it didn't say it, but it's fine. I don't have to make a million predictions. It's, it's okay. Anyway, so we are now at Chloe's house and we left a pretty traumatic scene. So the same guy that had the gun and she shot her and then we kind of reverse time and everything and stop that situation that same guy met us in the parking lot confronted us um so he not only confronted us but he also got violent with warren poor warren just got dragged into our mess and so we hopped in the car with chloe and then we just left warren there like dude man was getting smacked <laughs> left and right and we just abandon that situation so I hope Warren is okay I am kind of shocked that we just left him there and then we didn't even think about him it kind of takes me to the dialogue in this game you guys know that dialogue is everything for me and so I don't necessarily think I think the dialogue is good I think it's intentional I think where I'm having a difficult time is I've been used to younger characters having maybe more thought-provoking, not that they're not having thought-provoking dialogue, but I'm used to like Ellie and Clem that have more wisdom beyond their ages. And in this game, the characters really do act their age, considering the fact that this is like it, it's uh, whatever I forget the year that it is but I think the reason why I'm having that disconnect is because in the other two games Last of Us and Walking Dead there are both under extreme circumstances that are obviously going to alter the way that they look at the world the way that they think the way that they act and so both Ellie and Clem are characters that act very much I feel like beyond their age like you still get those moments where you can tell they are a kid but for the most part they really do behave and have wisdom beyond their ages considering the apocalypse and the circumstances that they're under so it's a little strange for me to be back into an 18 year old mind and i think they do a great job at making it accurate to how an 18 year old would think the dialogue is just it's it's an adjustment for me i guess but anyway so long story short we just got back with chloe Going back to the story, we found out that Chloe is really good friends with the girl that went missing. And so that's obviously going to play a major impact in this. And Chloe is, in fact, trying to get out of um, Arcade. Is it Arcadia? I don't think that's right. But she's, in fact, trying to get out of the town as well. So we're going to dive straight back in. We're headed down to fix our camera because our beloved camera got broken at the end of the last episode. So, guys, welcome back in. Thank you for being here. And I hope you all enjoy this next episode of. The life is strange. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go fix this camera. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. We're not rewinding. I just dropped my... No, I just dropped my controller. Okay. All right. Let's go fix this. <laughs> Total normal start. The music is incredible. Nothing's changed, except for me and Chloe. Aww. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. Tends to happen. I know that that's a thing, but I still refuse to switch over to a Kindle. Like, or any kind of digital print. I just like the, I like the pages. Even if it sits on my desk for years, I just like feeling the pages when reading. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolfe, but here I am. No, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Is this her This must be Chloe's parents' room. Yeah. 
Man, I am nosy today. Or it's me. <laughs> I'm especially nosy today. Aww. Oh shit. Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. But we don't have the option to. Oh yeah, yeah, we can open it. Okay. Oh, this must be the bird picture that we take. Oh. Oh shit. Poor thing. Same dialogue. I bet I could do something to save it. Rewind. So we need to open the window first, and then he'll fly in. Yes. Now we're starting to get a hang of this. Okay, I did not rewind fast enough. Hold on. Circle back, circle back. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. That was like, just barely made it. Oh, there it is. I can't take a picture of it. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. Are there not consequences to reversing that? And I guess not. Like... Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. <laughs> All right, we're gonna open the door. We're being super nosy. Aww. SF Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Aww. With William and Chloe. That was when she was pregnant with Chloe. <laughs> wow. Gosh, I cannot even imagine. Act, like, react, or die. A 21st century survival guide. Whoa. Apocalypse self-help. The apocalypse always finds a way into every game I play. And somehow. Dog tags. Sweet. David Madison. David Madsen. 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 Oh, positive. It's pretty useful. Gosh. Dog tags. Oh my. Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. Is that a macaroni I see why shell she would necklace? Keep it. <laughs> I was just talking about how I miss making ornaments like i remember how our ornaments were always like handmade from stuff that we did like as kids growing up in school i just refuse to have one of those i don't have one of those perfect trees that has like the matching ornaments like every single ornament is different and holds like a different memory joy still works at the diner and chloe's new dad is a security guard <laughs> uh-oh wait david Hold up. That's not our security guard, is it? <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, it is. Okay. Oh. That's awkward. And we also pissed him off yesterday. Oh man. Okay, wait. Let's um let's actually read. When was the last time we read something? Uh I felt like, sh okay, this was the last time I read anything, so let's catch up on my journal real quick. More high school drama. Juliet won't let Dana out of her room because she thought Zachary was sexy Dana. I think I did read that right. Um. Okay, no, 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 maybe I didn't. So stupid. I was so tired from everything, and since Dana borrowed Warren's flash drive, I had to intervene. Juliet told me Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Zach and Dana. So I knew that Victoria was playing them all. I snuck into Victoria's room and onto her laptop and found out that she was indeed lying through her ass just to create drama. Of course, I felt like a weasel going into Victoria's room and laptop. It's funny because on the same page at the beginning, we talk about feeling bad for her. And then at the end, we're back to being pissed at her. Once I gave Juliet the proof that Victoria was behind this, I went to get Warren's flash drive from Dana. She was in a weird mood. So I had to look around and see if I could find what I could find out. I found a home pregnancy test along with a note from Logan and a doctor's appointment. Dana admitted she was pregnant and I realized that all of my friends have troubles that are just as significant as mine. Yeah, it's true. Everybody's going through their own. I'm starting to get the hang of this whole rewind thing. Mm, give me another day. I don't want to waste this power, but there has to be a reason it was given to me. So I better learn how to use it right. 
I started by saving Ali Alyssa from getting a football fueled headshot. <laughs> I admit it felt amazing just to help Alyssa with something as simple as that. I also saw David Madsen hassling Kate Marsh. I couldn't, I couldn't hear everything, but he was accusing her of something. All that guy can do is point fingers. I got so pissed. I went over the stop. I went over to stop him from being such a bully. He's a security guard, not a stormtrooper. Probably has the aim of one too. He was an asshole, as usual. But I felt good about what I did, and Kate seemed truly happy that somebody stood up for her. And I did that without using my rewind power. Okay, I definitely rewinded right there, but what she doesn't know, doesn't know. Actually, no. Okay, wait, wait, I see. Is that, are we finally, maybe we start getting, maybe as we go further along, we get more choices before we have to use the rewind power. Like, yeah, like we're learning to not have to rewind to choose the correct actions, perhaps. All right, that there's not correct options. Uh, correct options. This day keeps getting stranger. I don't even believe what I'm writing. And I can't even do a simple task like giving Warren back his flash drive without getting into a situation. In this case, though, it turned out half bad, half good, which I guess is the yin and yang of life. When I met with Warren in the lot and checked out his new retro wheels, guess who showed up? Nathan Prescott, freaking out all over again. He got all up in my face and accused me of bullshit, 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 bullshit. Even though I was scared because I know what he did to that girl in the bathroom, I was more furious. Then the girl in the bathroom pulled up in a truck my former best friend, Chloe Price. We both looked at each other like, what the fuck? Next thing I knew, I was in her truck as Warren earned his man card and tried to get Nathan off my ass. I owe Warren big time. Seeing Chloe for the first time in five years was such a shock, I was almost paralyzed, especially after realizing that Nathan had almost killed her right in front of me. Now Chloe shows up out of the blue <laughs> to save me. Of all the bizarro and unexplainable shit happening today, sitting in Chloe's battered trunk, listening to music and staring at her dashboard, bobblehead might be to, might be at the top. So I tried to process the fact that Chloe and I were two best friends who didn't know each other anymore. She had blue hair, piercings, and cool boots, and I, I looked like a dork. <laughs> I didn't know where to start, and she wasn't exactly extending an olive branch. So we sat like strangers. At least I had time to catch my breath and realize that in the parking lot melee with Nathan and Warren, my camera got busted up. I didn't care, considering everything else going on, but it sucked on top of everything else going on. Alright, so we're back. But yes, so, Chloe's stepdad is the security guard. That's insane. Oh, we might find out from the photo. We might finally piece it together. Okay, wait, wait, no proof, no proof. No proof that we were Snoopy. Look at the papers. Uh -oh. I really like this song. The prices are late on their bills. Does it say 4000 Holy cow. Principal, interest, escrow. Oh, regular monthly payment because they have multiple. Yeah. Oh, no. Here we go. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Yeah, she already knew that. When did she piece it together? Close the door, close the door. All right, so we did save a bird though. So we saved the bird. Can we go in any of these? No. I really do like the art style. Whoa, whoa, dark. I cannot oh. see anything. All right, never mind. Oh, I just want to home reno this whole place. It's not bad. It's got great bones. It's got great bones. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. Hmm. I really do want to know the maintenance on having blue hair, okay? As somebody who never, I've never been bold enough to change my hair color outside of like maybe hints of blonde. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. Fluoxetine? I don't know what it's for. 10 milligrams. Mm. 
What's this? Makeup. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. But she'll park in handicap spots. All right, let's go downstairs. I love that. I love that they have like the sun beaming in. Oh, all right, go downstairs. We can't just walk down. That's fine. Mm. I just had a horrid flashback to Madison with the Polaroid camera. No. My Doesn't look worst like the price game family ever is played. rolling in dough these days. Mm. Electricity bills do. Yeah, it's bad news bears on all fronts. Nope. Oh, Someone locked it from the other side. Can't go in there. Here, let's look at the photos. Now this is the Chloe I remember. <laughs> Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. Welcome to teenage years. Hmm. Aw, these are really beautiful photos. Look at the cat. Oh, Kate. Thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem. That guy is an asshole. Has I'm in his house right now. <laughs> this is the story of a girl. Let's turn on the TV. I haven't seen this place in five years. Okay, never mind. Turn the TV off. That's Seems like forever. Squeak an axe. Squeak an axe. <laughs> is that like Cocoa Puffs? Looks like Cocoa Puffs. I guess let's turn the light switch on. Actually, if their electricity bill is overdue, we're going to do them a favor and try to read everything in the dark. We don't need lights on. Let's not Joy add to it. still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better kill get for a soon. burger right now. Two Whale Diner. Home style cooking. Oh, you know what I just got this awkward craving for? Cracker Barrel. Uh, some people, you either love it or you hate it, but they're cornbread. They're cornbread. Cereal, milk, peanut butter, chocolate cake. <laughs> oh, wait. Oil, oil, bananas, toilet paper? Okay. I'm guessing the oil bananas aren't together. Unless it's old bananas. Old. Hey, there is a reason for getting old bananas. I make a mean banana bread with some expired bananas. Joy still works at Two Wells okay, Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. <gasps> Donuts. I better get one soon. Travel money. <sighs> I'd love to go to Paris too. Aww. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Damn. Why you gotta be like that? Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's Good. cooking. Hot Wheels, wood oven pizza carts. Okay, I did just recently discover that the absolute best pizza I've ever had in my life was in a food truck, which was so, I was not expecting that. I just, nobody expects the food truck pizza to be the best. But it was, oh, and I've had a lot of pizza. All right, I guess we're going outside. Brr. I can feel autumn pushing out to summer. William oh. used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder William. if he was the last one to use this. Oh no. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. Oh, that must have been Bongo. He never saw that car coming. Oh no. Not that took Bongo. Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. I love how there's still signs of her friendship though with Chloe, you know? Even after all of these years, like there's still remnants of it. Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. <laughs> wow. They really haven't changed a lot. Oh, there's those security cameras. All right, so let's go back in. Oh dear. Hmm? Uh, another deer. They're everywhere. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. <laughs> Bambi, no. The couch. You can take the time to stand on the couch. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Hmm. Looks like a ship wreck now. Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. Oh. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. 
Well, tasty. Very tasty. Parents out Here, I, I want to sip. Sorry, this is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Ew. Oh, shit, There's the carpet. ketchup and mustard sitting outside. There's wine all over. What do we do now? My parents are coming. Cover it up. <sighs> oh. Hmm. Jane Doe. Oh, gosh. Remembering the first time that you tried alcohol? That's a blast in I the past. I guess they're aging, these books. Okay, a lot of things in this house are old. We I get it, Max. I should be find the tools I need here. All right, let's start searching. Nothing. This is so lame. <laughs> this is so lame. Do people still use the word lame? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? Wait, she just pieced that together? You've got to be shitting me. That's interesting. I would have thought, you know what? It could be because this is the direction that you had to have gone. So it's really not optional. Whereas the bedroom was an optional area, I suppose. So maybe that's why it wasn't actually pieced together. No. <laughs> I think they said that he used to be in the army on his side. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? But was that prompted because of the disappearance of Rachel? You know? At least he's got it in a safe. With a glass case. Target practice? Yes! Score! Dartboard? Having the dartboard right next to the glass gun rack? Makes sense. William stuff. Boom. Precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Okay, so we're gonna turn it on, knock it off, and then rewind maybe? Or it will just fall? Okay, that's That was too very perfect. smart, dumbass. All right, turn no it off. No can turn reach. Off. What? You can't reach the tool under there? Let's see. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Okay, wait, hold on. Brilliant, Max. Brilliant. So I need to go back even further? Okay, hold on. So if it's gonna fall off, I need something to catch it then. Basically, right? Mm. The action will have consequences. What action? Opening that cupboard? Wowzer, huh. a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Oh. Placement of cameras. Switch on. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? I mean, I get external cameras. Still. Nothing like a good, like a nice security system. Maybe not all the cameras, but maybe like a, especially for home use, you know? All right, so we looked at that. We do this still need to get the to tools. Stepdad. No password. Not like David, it would help question me find mark? Anyway. Uh, it's okay. It would be really cool to be able to go in and see what he's got the on his computer. The tools might be in this cupboard. So we know where the tools are, we just need to figure out how to get them. So when it falls, there's no way for us to catch it in the moment, right? And we already looked in these drawers, correct? So, oh, push. So we need to push it first and then turn on it and then we can pull it, easy. Get these. And then turn that off. No signs that we were here. Even if Chloe knows we're here. And then pull this out. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. The electricity bill. We're respecting the electricity bill. I wonder I've if there's- I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Mm. Or, is it even possible to type in? No password. Like it would help oh. me find tools anyway. Okay, never mind. 
I thought it was possible to like find the password and then put in files. Let's search through the files. Shit! Oh, I'm gonna have to rewind. Butterfingers. Okay, never mind. Rewind, rewind. Rewind, rewind. Further, further, further. There we go. It's his fault for having the oil spill on the floor. Oh wow. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. You never know when spam is gonna be the best meal you've ever had. All right. We've got a car right here. Check a out the bit muscle of a... car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Oh, there's the deer head. Poor little deer. It's not enough to kill you. They have to display your head. It's also such a weird place to display. I don't know. I feel like most people, I guess maybe the mom wouldn't let him put it in the living room. It just feels like an odd place to display it. Cool, now it's open. But I guess that's kind of like his man cave a little bit or whatever. All right, let's go back up. That's all we needed were tiny little pliers and screwdrivers. I guess to pull it apart. Hopefully she's done blazing it. Wrong's way. There's a lot of silent parts in the game, like between characters talking. All right, let's found the tools. Here. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. And then can you take me back to school? No, Ginger. She's sitting outside the door because she thinks she's going to get treats. No. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Oh, uh, these are all the photos from... Wait. I've seen this before. Uh, no Wait, way. What? When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I mean, I'm gonna tell her the truth, right? Like, she already knows. How many bright blue butterflies do you see? And I have the photo and the bucket there. Like, there's no way I can lie my way out of that. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. No. <laughs> I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? No. I wasn't sure. Not at all. N uh, for me, not at all. Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Uh, just a little bit. With her, I feel like I should be completely honest. I have no reason to mistrust her. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question, did you tell anybody? Mm, I don't think I even wanted to. I guess like there were some moments where I was like, oh, should I? Yes, remember we want, oh, yeah. Cause we had the opportunity to tell the principal, did we not? No, but I, didn't. I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell mm. Academy. Don't Sounds trust right. him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Hmm. She has an old camera. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. Oh. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool oh. you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And awesome. I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. 
now that we got that mushy shit out of she the way. She just quickly threw like in that she wanted to it. take that photo. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake okay. that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's try taking a picture. It's her father's camera. <laughs> this song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. I'm like a stick bug if I dance. <laughs> yes, break it down, Max. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I thought Yo, the noise off, was in my off. house. I was like. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Oh, Dude, this the is music's not, not even on. Good. He's gonna Asshole. remember me. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. Oh. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe. What? What's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Closet, closet. Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Closet. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. <gasps> oh. Don't get smart. Just let no. me in. No. Not the closet? Please. One second. The bed, hide. I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Well, then what do you want? Do do? Chloe, open this door. If I can't do Oh. Wait. Can I rewind that? Or is that not even worth it? Is it not worth it to rewind right there? Chloe, I'm move, coming. Move, move the lamp. Yes, 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 yes. Chloe, you're okay, stalling. Move the lamp. Move the lamp. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Go, 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 go. Don't get smart. Just let me in. All right, now. the security guard. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. Shit. My bra. What's going on in stuck. here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat. We'll do that to you. Hold to another universe. One of my guns is missing. Did oh. you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, Toking weed. Up. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. That's an order? Whose is it? Um... I don't know. She said that he would flip if he found me here, and he doesn't like me to begin with, so we're staying hidden. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon! Hey! Leave Joyce out of this! I wish you'd leave Joyce! Like now! Oh! Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother, no. and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. I'm going to take a wild guess that that's not the first time he struck her either. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. Okay. That's I did the right believe. thing. All right. It was good that I stayed. Anyway, I... let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? I don't know. She kept saying that it would have been better if I hadn't. Dude, David's got to go. David's got to go. Unfortunately, I think you see that a lot. Is the like he he can't disassociate from his days in the military. Can you go already? I want to get the hell out of here. All right, sorry, sorry. All right, let's go. Poor Chloe. I'm guessing she hasn't talked to her mom about it either. If her mom even would believe her. I don't know. It doesn't sound like she has like the best relationship with her mom. I think it really was like her dad and her. Hmm, the lighthouse. We always come back here. And Adele.
The game is visually I haven't been gorgeous. here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? The dream! Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. To be fair, nightmare, yeah. The nightmare. I don't... This part always Hello, reminds me of Edith squirrel. Finch. <gasps> we can take a picture. You and me. Stare contest. Wait, no! I need to take a picture of you. What were my, uh, what were my pictures? Oh, we have a lot of chapters, by the way. Oh, yeah. We got three new chapters. Um, hold on. So we sat like, okay, wait, wait, wait. Olive Branch, I saw that. Going back to Chloe's... Okay, yeah. Going back to Chloe's old house for the first time in five years was like the ultimate rewind. Some things were obviously different, but some things weren't. The house smelled exactly the same as it did when we were growing up. Chloe's room was like an exploded version of her new adult self. Cool and chaotic. I could tell she was pissed. She wanted to blaze up and chill. So I explored her room to play catch up on what she was doing or what she was into these days. Look, there's a blue bird, the one that we saved. I don't know, I feel like the stickers are somewhat, yeah, like she chooses art that kind of aids what happened in that moment. I'm an other one. Then I found a photo of Chloe with Rachel Amber. Chloe freaked and laid into me for not calling her once. I deserved it. She had become best friends with Rachel and they were going to bail on Arcadia Bay and head out to Los Angeles for fame and fortune. I could tell just how much Chloe cared about Rachel since she was the one putting up the posters. I felt even shittier about leaving Chloe alone all those years when she needed me. You suck, Max. But Chloe is obsessed with Rachel, the missing girl. She says Rachel vanished after meeting some amazing dude. Probably some psycho online. Chloe wanted to smoke out and be alone, so I went downstairs to find tools to fix my camera. I am 18. Oh, this is like all of those feelings. And I just feel like nobody talks about how like, yeah, it's so easy to be like, okay, you're 18, you're an adult now. But I mean, shoot, I'm 25 and I'm still learning things that I feel like I should have known back then. Snooping deeper, I hit the paranoia jackpot and I found a whole mini surveillance setup of Chloe's house with cameras in the halls and some rooms. Truly creepy shit. What kind of uber paranoid puts cameras throughout their whole house? Chloe's stepfather, I guess. I see why she's got some serious attitude. Look at the like ink spot, like the ink spot to uh, show her hair. When I got back upstairs, I couldn't fix the stupid camera. But Chloe saw the butterfly photo and knew I was in the bathroom and set off the alarm. Her attitude totally changed and she realized that I had saved her life. Even though it could have gone the other way, she was so happy, like when we were kids, and it was great to see her face light up. She even gave me her dad's awesome old Instamatic as a symbol of our reunion. She cranked up the tunes and started dancing on her bed like a maniac. She even got me to shake my booty just a bit like a stick bug. <laughs> That's when Chloe's stepfather showed up and it was David Madsen. I had to hide in the closet and then David came in, angry about the music. He was even scarier off campus because he didn't have the school around him. He accused Chloe of taking one of his guns. Then shit got real. David flounded Chloe's joint and flipped out on her. She didn't back down and he actually slapped her. Bastard. I thought Chloe would be pissed that I didn't step in to help, but she didn't think it would matter. We decided to get out of there and catch up on exploring, like best friends. Yeah, I go back and forth on my decision right there to not intervene, but I just really didn't. I don't know. I, I thought it would be worse if I didn't, but okay, we actually can read three new profiles as well, but give me one second. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. Hold up, please. Let's read these profiles. <laughs> Let me crack open this LaCroix that I'm not going to be mixing with any weird drink. It's just going to be the LaCroix by itself. I don't know what this is. I can't kick this flu. Like, be gone. I'm about to start having like a hot toddy every single day just to get rid of this because people swear by that concoction and I'm starting to think it's not a bad idea. All right. So we have Rachel. 
I don't, I guess I never read Rachel's profile, but maybe it wasn't accessible to us until, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't accessible until we talked to Chloe. I didn't see when it hit our index, but. All right, where is Rachel Amber? Even though Blackwell Academy feels so remote and tranquil, you still get sad reminders of reality, like missing person posters, literally wallpapered all over campus. I already know her name through osmosis. I guess she was a popular student here and vanished six months ago. Rachel had a great picture on her missing, pi uh, missing person poster. She looked posed and pretty, like a model. Everybody keeps saying she could be a model. Of course, I wonder who took the photo. Did she run away from home? I'd like to hope so. Oh, it, we found out that it was the photo she took with Chloe. So yeah, we got this before we met Chloe. Mm, for her sake, it's so depressing. I, ho I feel awful for her parents. What a shitty thing to go through. No matter how much Blackwell seems like a secret bubble of knowledge, you can't escape a r the real world. Okay. And then we have Warren. We never looked at Warren, and it looks like we're gonna meet two new people too. E equals MC squared. I knew if I gave Warren my phone, he would blow it up for science rules. He wants his flash drive back after letting me borrow it for less than a week. He told me to watch everything because he has tons of cool TV shows and films on there. He wanted her to watch all of that stuff on the flash drive in a week? Oh my goodness. Thank God it wasn't porn. And I'm thankful for Warren. He's like a real friend. Mm-hmm. He's an orbiter. He loves science, but he really understands art and appreciates great photography. Even though he says he loves my pictures, I can't tell if he's just being nice. Warren is a geek, but he definitely lets you know where he stands, and I don't think he would ever lie to me. It feels good to have at least one strong ally at the same age here, and he makes me smile. I don't know, I still, I'm still suspicious of Warren, just something about him. I don't trust it. All right, then there's Chloe Price. What do you say to your best friend after five years of silence? After finding out you saved her life in a bathroom? Nothing. I feel so lame for not staying in touch or even a text. I have no idea how to process seeing Chloe like this again. For one thing, she looks so similar, but so different. She's all grown up now but it doesn't seem like she's only one year older than me. I absolutely love her blue hair and her punk clothes. It makes sense she would become a rebel. She still kind of looks like a pirate, except one who stage dives. I know she's angry with me because of her body language. I'm glad I can still see the old Chloe in there. Or is that the young Chloe? I'm sure she's still messed up with her dad dying. I would be too. That was a terrible time for Chloe and Joyce. I feel bad because I wonder if I was ever happy to move away just to avoid the grief. I wonder if I was happy to move away to avoid the grief. Speaking of grief, it's clear she's all mixed up with Nathan Prescott's shit. I have no idea what's going on between them, but I'm going to find out no matter what. Hmm. All right. So we're up to date on both of those. Yeah, it's just so reminiscent of Edith Finch because of the, probably just the woodland feels. But, all right, so we already looked at the bench. I didn't get to Man, snap Man, I should have helped Chloe. I feel so bad. Was I wrong for not helping her? You guys let me know, did y'all help her? Oh no. Oh I no. feel like I'm in my nightmare again. What have I done? I should have done it. But then maybe I'd be regretting that I helped her. There's trash everywhere. All right. Oh, Warren. Yeah. Finally. I owe you. Thanks for today. I'll call you back later, okay? I swear. No problem. And you still have to tell me your big secret. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> okay. Birds are so lucky. They can always escape. Is that supposed to be like moss? What is the green on the tree supposed to be? Oh, she's here. The stump. Aw, look. Max and Oh Chloe. my god, I forgot all about this. BFF pirate. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh, you see these all the time. I don't remember this at all, but it seems like it's been here for a long time. I don't know. I feel like this is kind of a quaint town. It's cute. But I guess if you grew up here, I think a lot of people that grew up in small towns often want to leave and see what else is out there. Holy cow, y'all. You know I'm a sucker for a good sunset. Don't look at me like that. I'm a sucker for a good sunset. Mm. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree for it. So we'd <sighs> always be able to find each other in case of emergency. Aw. <sighs> look at the Bigfoot. <laughs> There's Bigfoot. I have cat hairs on my face right now. Because I cuddled Ginger when I take a break, and she just poofs everywhere. There's a campfire. I wonder how often she comes Looks like here. the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. Definitely looks like... I never like... made it. Trust no one. How long has that been here? Bigfoot. Clearly. The Bigfoots are everywhere. The Bigfoots. The Bigfoots. All of them. What is this? Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. The wind? Huh. It's almost in a little bit of a hidden spot as well. Wait, what is this? Footprints? Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? A wolf, maybe? They look like some kind of, like a paw print. The lighthouse. I guess we can't Too go inside of it. Too bad it's locked. Here. Yeah. I remember racing up and down the steps. All right, let's talk to her. Oh my gosh. Chloe. This would be a nice photo of Chloe, framed by the sun. I wish we could take photos whenever we wanted, you know? You sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. Uh, are you pissed are at you me? Pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as brave as you. What? <laughs> and David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. She told me not to you come have out. To live with no him. matter what. Has he always been this way? I was damned Ever if I do, damned if I don't. Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on Kate. I should have taken his photo. He freaked out on he Kate. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Seems like it. I wanted to. You know, I wanted to, but I realized I have enough mystery in my life. <laughs> I'd like to find out. I bet he's got some serious porn in there. Ugh. Good thing he didn't look. He's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams in the house. I oh, knew you didn't know. Oh, we can tell her. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? I can't believe there she never found it. There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He is so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. I like how much they Sometimes say hella. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? Even yours? Oh. What's Nathan's secret? What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. Oh! oh. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? Oh. I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Mm. Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. What about how much? What about Nathan? So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. What the f- Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. 
Yeah. I, that's such a, I'm so furious. I'm both. It's messed up, but I'm also pissed off for her. It's always, all right. Um. What? Chloe, okay. that is so fucked up. I didn't think it was what gonna be that bad. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. She... He's still dangerous. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. But she makes I a good point. Like, he could do this to you. other people. He you probably already has. Ass. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. Oh, cutscene. Nathan's gonna get what's his. It always comes back. If this back is now. destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh. with us okay we're back in it why is this happening to me but we're not dreaming why like, am we I were awake again? we were wide awake the dough the dough is important I just don't know why but the dough's got to be important is Chloe still up there I have to oh find my. out Um, I have to rewind. Go faster. Oh. To the lighthouse. Come on, lead the way, buddy. Jane, lead the way. Okay, thank you. I guess it was clearing the way. Uh, I've was never seen a storm like this in Oregon. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Oh! Oh! Shit. oh. Okay, we gotta go forward. Newspaper. Read the newspaper. October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away! Maybe this oh, is... God. That tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe's gonna get her wish. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Oh, something shit. Hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi? Right? Listen to yeah. me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. Hella. A hell of a day. Is that snow? What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. 
or a storm is coming. Max, is it just knowing where we are? Start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Y'all. <laughs> No, everybody sees the snow. So we're seeing all the characters. Joyce. Warren. Oh, that's what's her name? Kate, right? Why is she crying? The dog and who is that? We don't know that person. We know her, Victoria. Principal. Our favorite teacher. Dan, uh, Nathaniel. What's he looking at? He's looking at a camera. I think I missed characters, y'all. Kelly, Lynn, Rachel? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. One, that was a long episode. I think I, I obviously made it long because I was like slowly going through things. I think the next couple chapters will go a lot faster. But two, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I hate when I have a summary of all my poor choices, but um, real quick before I read this, the tapes of all the different people, could that be what Nathaniel was looking at? And she's not the first one. So we know that she's not the first girl this has happened to. So either there's like a serial killer or it could have been one of the guys at the school. Like it could be. Is it Nathaniel? Is it the, I feel like it's setting us up to think it's the creepy security guard. Um, but I don't know. I, there's just a lot and tensions are high. Emotions are flaring. Like I really am not sure how to digest all of this. Let me know if you guys were like that too. Like I'm following along with the storyline, but I just have no idea where it's going to lead other than a massive tornado in four days. Um, but how can she reverse this? And is the tornado caught? Why all of a sudden she has the ability to reverse time. We now have snow in 80 degree weather. It's like the world is ending. Truly. All right. So I hid the truth. Wow. 61% of y'all reported Nathan. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. I guess I didn't report him because I didn't know, like I didn't think the principal, based on her synop uh, synopsis of him, I didn't think he was gonna believe us to begin with. And also Nathan's parents have basically paid for him to be any type of person he wants and they'll cover it up in a heartbeat. Like he is the epitome of that asshole rich dude that his parents own parts of the school. So even if we had told the principal, the principal wasn't going to kill his cash cow. Not that he would actually kill him, but you know what I mean. Um, you made fun of Victoria. You can comfort it. Okay. I actually, that brings me a lot of faith in humanity. 77% of us comforted Victoria. I know she's been mean to us, but we don't have to stoop to her level. That's where I was with that one. You took a photo of David harassing Kate and you intervened to help Kate out. I actually think it's really cool how we can change our decision on some of these core choices. Because if you guys remember at first, I did take a photo of David harassing Kate and then I regretted it. It was kind of like a creepy thing to do, but I also regretted intervening it. And then I was like trying to decide who would I rather have on my side. And it was definitely Kate. David is going to be an asshole no matter what. I have this feeling. So us having like... I don't know, him not seeing us intervene. It wasn't going to give us a, a, uh, a leg up on him either way. He didn't see us not intervene. The only reason he's pissed at us is because we actually stepped up and told him not to bully a student, which him as a character, there's a lot of assholes in this game. <laughs> All right, so the last core, de core decision. You took the blame for Chloe. You blamed Chloe. You stayed hidden. 
or you came out of hiding to intervene. So I didn't know that you could choose to come out and not blame either. But I stayed hidden because she was so dead set on saying it would be worse if he found you. I went to the extreme to hide, and then when it asked me to come out again, remember after I chose not to? She said it would have been worse if he had saw me here. And, but then at the lighthouse, she was mad at me. <laughs> I, I'm getting conflicted feelings, I don't know what. Um, okay, initially, I'm gonna look at friend stats, by the way. Uh, friend stats. Oh, oh, I, duh, the friends on Steam. Um, I don't know why, I just assumed that, I, I forgot that it was gonna have a complete ending like this, so this will probably just be a short video, which is good because right now I'm currently playing catch up because as you guys know, I was gone for a couple weeks, so I'm trying to get back to giving you guys three videos a week, so today's is gonna be a lot shorter. Um, I do apologize for that, but I think now that I have the, um, I don't know, I kind of understand the method and the way that the game kind of flows. I have the flow down. I can actually move a little bit faster between items. I know that we have our book now that I need to look at and reference. I think I've got the rewinding time down. So as long as, which the game is obviously gonna throw more stuff at us, but mechanics wise, I think I've got the game down. So I think all chapters going forward should be no more than two chapters or two episodes each. Um, but okay, wait, oh, oh, there's many, many things too. Okay, wait. You let Daniel draw your portrait. Wow, that's such a split. 49% of people didn't let him draw. I signed her petition. That's a 50-50 split. I'm surprised by that. So I guess I signed it because she's our teacher and I wanted to help her. And I actually, it depends. I think the petition is for no security. Like, if the security guard, what's his name? If her stepdad has his way, he would put them even on the inside, and I'm not sure about that one. I get external ones, but there's gotta be something prompting that decision. And if he's wanting to increase security, he wouldn't be the ones collecting these tapes, don't you think? Of like these girls, whoever is collecting those tapes at the end that we just saw, he wouldn't be doing that if he's trying to crack down further, right? You helped Alyssa, and we haven't heard anything about any other missing girls. So that's also a confusing, confusing part too. I also have this weird flashback to, what was that movie? Barbarian? Barbarian, when I saw all the tapes of the different girls, it just made me think of Barbarian. If you haven't seen it, super weird. If Justin Long is in a horror movie, understand that it's gonna be like a weird, weird horror movie. Tusk in point, off topic, but. All right, so I did help Alyssa. So yeah, a ton of people can choose to just bypass and you don't have to help these people, but yeah. So we helped Alyssa. Um, you erased the insults on Kate's slate, I did. And I watered my plan, 27% of people didn't. I think it's easy, so a lot of these things that I have check marks for, I only saw them because I was being really meticulous and I slowed down a lot. So it'll be interesting to see if I miss opportunities, if I try to kind of like, go at a faster pace in the next couple episodes. You didn't touch Dana's pregnancy test. Oh, I rewinded. I rewinded. So actually I was a part of the 1% that did touch it. Uh, and then I rewinded. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. I didn't reorganize her photos because that's evidence. I That shows her that somebody was in her room. It doesn't say that we were in her room, but it still shows that somebody was snooping around. Um, I wrote on a dirty RV. <laughs> Oh no, that RV guy might be pissed at us because he might find out we're the ones that wrote on it. Because it did say that our con there's consequences to those actions. But yes, 59% of y'all didn't write on the dirty RV. I wonder if that number is based on a lot of people not finding it, you know? And then I did save the bird. So I'm really happy I was able to save the bird. Barely. Like, we barely saved that bird, but that was still cool. And then you didn't break Chloe's snow globe. <laughs> Maybe the people that do, you either, I'm guessing it, it's either kind of like what's done is done. I am going through this and I'm using rewind a lot, but maybe that's bad to begin with. Oh no, I'm gonna start overthinking this. But maybe the more you use rewind, the worse the ending is. I don't know, because I feel like we should be naturally making good decisions. But like in the case of breaking the snow globe, that was because I was like snooping around and I just happened to, like I clicked on it, you know? I don't know. I don't, maybe I'm using rewind too much. I don't know. Ah, okay. All right. 
that concludes episode one. Oh, it's gonna automatically begin. Hold on. No. All right, so episode two is gonna automatically begin, but I'm gonna pause it there. Like I said, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this first episode. I think it's picking up. I keep talking about it. Slow games don't bother me in any sort of way. I think I'm just having a dialogue adjustment from the past two scripts of Last of Us and Walking Dead. So I'm trying to get used to Life is Strange and being back into the minds of teenagers and, and thoughts and feelings and how emotional it is. Like it really is. I look back on those times and oh lord do I wish I could reverse time back then. Because the things I said, the things I did are not anything like I am now. Like by any means so <laughs> I think maybe that's why a lot of people enjoy this game though at the same time is I think by the end of it as Max we're gonna see her not only develop as a person but she's going to understand maybe more about life and her choices and her decisions um and yeah I don't I, don't, I like any story that showcases growth on a character's part which I think is human nature we all like to see a, a character grow and not stay stagnant even though it's hard for ourselves to grow, right? That can be one of the hardest things to do. So I'm loving it now. I think it was a little hard for me to like dive straight into it and be all excited, but I see that it's going to get intense. Emotions are high, time is sensitive, decisions matter. It's already starting to get me more excited for episode two. So like I said, I'm gonna try to make that a two part. I'm gonna try to go forward and make the episodes two parts long. Um, is my goal, but in no means am I gonna rush. I'm not gonna rush the game at all. So guys, thank you so much for being here. I know this is a short video. Like I said, I'll try to make the next couple ones longer. Thank you for your time, for being here, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day whenever you're watching this, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, YouTube.